summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. This defense for the Patriots, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now Wentz on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the shot earlier. And the Patriots are going to take position. touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Huntley to throw. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And his kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. On third down, Trubisky. That's caught by the tight end, Herb Smith Jr. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. And that's well executed there on third down. I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. The Cowboys had 0-1 on the year following the loss in the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road, but now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, we'll be just fine. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. By Rifles, one of that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. 
And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Democratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Puna Ford, the one to get to him and drop him. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. They go play action with Trubisky. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Lock in, lock in. Move, move, move. Now it's Trubisky. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. Now the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. To throw Huntley. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. On third down, here's Harris. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Ten-nothing to score after one on EA Sports. And the first play will be a field goal try. The wind is at his back here in the second quarter. And he missed it. It's no good, and the lead will hold at 10. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the All offense right. had didn't All come right. back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Trubisky's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
First target, first catch, and a first down. Play action. Now Trubisky. And this is incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Off the play fake. Here's Trubisky. Out to his left. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 30 yards. Now Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys are back within a score. Extra point right down the middle. That'll cut it to three at 10 7. So just a three point game now as they send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense, just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Huntley. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. And this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. And they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. Trubisky's throw there, taken in by Smith. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with second and five now. Here's Trubisky to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. 
That's Elliott. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. The first down carry by Elliott. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now it's Trubisky. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. They go play action. Trubisky. one is down he goes Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack and forthcoming a field goal try for the Cowboys from the left hash this from 46 and this one looks good it is good right down the pipe and that will knot us up at 10 so as it turns out that sack doesn't wind up up to them Charles they at least get points get three of them yeah that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave him exactly what they needed. The Pats at the line ready to go as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. So we have reached halftime here in a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And a fair catch signaled for a... The Pats at the line, ready to go. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. And they run with Harris off the option. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Operating from the gun. 
Huntley finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now a first down carry for Harris. And this time they were ready for him as they will stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. And they run the option on second down. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing a shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, Huntley, and he fends him off. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. They'll give him four yards there. And now one yard to go on third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 40. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 32. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Needing to 
tough yards. They run it with their fullback. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. This throw caught right around the six. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, 29 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Let's go, the kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And it's a room to run now. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a throw here to his running back, and he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now left side on the swing pass. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Play action. Huntley. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away. Facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate. Fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice ball. He's so good at the top after this. He's been able to rest the entire game. And once again, good as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Try it here. He's back to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Harris is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. 
Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. To throw again on second down. Trubisky, he's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll get him down here at the 23. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Going to run again here with Pollard. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, give him credit for trying, but there is no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then execute it. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Trubisky. Catch is made here by Irv Smith, Jr. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. First down, and it's Pollard again. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Cowboys on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and five. now off the bootleg he'll buy some time right and that is incomplete oh he did everything but hold on to it but a nice play defensively and now it brings up fourth down so here we go maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming this to break our fourth quarter tie And his kick here is good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. 
Two yards, the loss, second and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Huntley to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Harris. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now we've got a third and three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Harris running straight ahead. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. So many things going to make it a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start. And then a nice tackle to finish things off. They run for it with Harris. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Pollard again. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 61 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. The Patriots go with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those will be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go-around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Now, one final throw here is incomplete. And that is how this one will come to an end.